Well, this is an interesting story, quite a bit of a shady story as well, if you ask me. Um, so, Certic admits Kraken's 3 million exploit raises eyebrows for sending crypto to Tornado Cash. Um, so, New York headquartered blockchain security firm Certic has admitted to being behind a bug exploit that resulted in an un unauthorized withdrawal of $3 million worth of tokens from the Kraken crypto exchange. So in a June 19th thread on Certic on Twitter, revealed that it identified a series of critical vulnerabilities. So in Kraken's exchange, that could potentially lead to hundreds of millions of dollars in losses. So at first, it, it looks like these guys are the good guys pointing out uh, vulnerabilities and being like a white hat company where they point out vulnerabilities rather than exploit them. Okay, so then they put a Twitter thing here. And then, according to Certic, the issue was first identified on June 5th, and Kraken failed multiple tests, indicating that the exchange defense in depth system was compromised on multiple fronts. The firm particularly noted that it managed but to bypass the exchange's withdrawal risk controls uh, without triggering any alerts. Um, now, a huge amount of fabricated crypto worth more than one million US dollars can be withdrawn from the account and converted into valid, valid cryptos. Worse yet, no alerts were triggered during the multi-day testing period. Kraken only responded and locked the test accounts days after we officially reported the incident. Certic. So that makes Kraken look pretty bad. Um, oh, upon discovering the flaw, Certic claims it informed Kraken whose security team classified the issue as critical. However, after the exploit was identified and fixed, Certic alleges that Kraken security operations team threatened individual Certic employees, demanding repayment of a mismatched amount of crypto in an unreasonable time, even without providing repayment addresses. Certic urged Kraken to cease any threats against white hat hackers, asserting its commitment to the Web3 community in the spirit of transparency. However, the incident has sparked controversy and scepticism within the blockchain community as blockchain researchers have highlighted discrepancies in Certic's timeline and claims. And obviously, if it's on the blockchain, you can uh, it's irrefutable. Um, so Certic wrote this. Ha ha, you fucking clowns. There is absolutely no universe where this is white hat security research. Kraken is being incredibly patient for not outright calling this what it, it, it very clearly is, a multi-million dollar theft with a side of extortion. As noted, Cyber's chief technology officer, Mayor Dollop, on his X account, an address associated with Certic, began suspicious activity across multiple blockchain networks weeks before the Kraken incident was first reported, raising questions about the timeline provided by Certic. Okay, so he's looked into it, given him information. Uh, in a follow-up post on the Certic's thread, Coinbase director Connor Grogan pointed out that addresses associated with Certic sent part of the withdraw, withdrawn crypto to Tornado Cash, a mixing service sanctioned by the U.S., so Certic are using a sanctioned, I mean, I've gone over this before with James Pelton when he's used Tornado Cash and stuff. You shouldn't be using a sanctioned, um, <clears throat> a sanctioned company, okay, which in this case is Tornado Cash, uh, sanctioned by the U.S. Department of Treasury Office of Foreign Assets Control, OFAC, for facilitating approximately seven billion in crypto laundering since 2019. Okay, reports also allege that Certic Associated Addresses sent parts of the withdrawn crypto to Change Now. I don't know what Change Now is exactly. Uh, non custodial crypto exchange, okay. As of press time, Certic has made no public statements on why it interacted with Tornado Cash. Why would you interact with Tornado Cash unless you're doing something dodgy and Change Now? Though it claims to have returned all the withdrawn tokens to crack on. Crack on. I mean that is um that is that is a wild story that is that doesn't look uh, that doesn't that doesn't paint a good picture for Kraken or or um Certic. It makes them both look bad. Um Certic worse and also 
uh, they should be getting a knock on the door if they've been using Tornado Cash because, you know, it's a sanctioned uh, company. So that is really bad. Yeah, not good.